The movement and travel of the President of the United States represent a meticulous orchestration of security protocols, logistical planning, and diplomatic coordination unlike any other global figure. Despite being one of the most powerful individuals in the world, the U.S. President cannot simply move or travel like an average citizen. Every journey, whether domestic or international, demands an intricate web of precautions, from the deployment of Secret Service agents to the careful selection of transportation modes, ensuring the safety, efficiency, and dignity befitting the leader of a nation with unparalleled global influence. This intricate dance of security measures and strategic planning defines how the U.S. president travels, reflecting an unparalleled blend of power, responsibility, and safeguarding that accompanies the leader of the free world wherever they go. The United States prioritizes and invests significantly in presidential security, employing a multifaceted approach that integrates cutting-edge technology, highly trained personnel such as the Secret Service, and comprehensive protocols. This extensive investment covers intelligence gathering, threat assessment, and physical protection to safeguard the president against potential security risks. Collaboration among federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies further enhances security measures during presidential travel, ensuring secure routes, venues, and surrounding areas. Despite the considerable costs involved, these investments underscore the nation's commitment to safeguarding the president and preserving the stability of the presidency and the country. Being president involves a lot of travel. The president has some travel restrictions since he or she is the commander-in-chief and the head of state. Has the president paid a visit to your community, an honor you have experienced? If this is the case, the president most likely traveled in safety and comfort thanks to the assistance of committed personnel of the armed forces who were led by the White House military office. The radio handle used when the president takes to the sky in any U.S. Air Force aircraft is known as Air Force One, and it is not associated with a specific aircraft. Currently, the Air Force provides two specially configured Boeing 747-200Bs that are made to meet the president's unique needs in terms of safety and maximum comfort when in the air. To enable the president's responsibilities as commander-in-chief, these aircraft are equipped with cutting-edge communication systems, encompassing secure voice terminals and cryptographic tools for encoding and decoding classified messages. Each plane boasts an impressive 238 miles of electrical wiring, equivalent to 1,260,000 feet, surpassing by more than double the wiring present in a standard 747, facilitating seamless operations at the highest levels of security and functionality. The meticulous planning and execution of presidential trips entail an intricate web of coordination and precision. Behind every journey taken by the U.S. president lies an extensive groundwork conducted by the Secret Service and dedicated advance teams. These teams, comprised of experts in security, logistics, and protocol, work tirelessly to ensure that every aspect of the trip is meticulously arranged. From securing travel routes to scouting locations, arranging accommodations, and liaising with local authorities, the advance teams leave no stone unturned in guaranteeing the president's safety and the seamless execution of the visit. Their attention to detail extends to the most minute aspects, considering everything from weather forecasts to potential security threats to preemptively address any challenges that may arise during the president's travel. Moreover, the global infrastructure necessary to facilitate presidential visits, especially abroad, is a feat of international cooperation and meticulous planning. When the president travels overseas, an intricate network of coordination between the U.S. State Department, foreign governments, and various security agencies is vital. This collaboration involves securing airports, routes, and accommodations well in advance, ensuring that the president's visit aligns seamlessly with diplomatic objectives and maintains the highest standards of security. Moreover, cultural sensitivities and diplomatic nuances are carefully considered and respected to guarantee a successful visit that strengthens diplomatic ties between nations. 
The implementation of stringent security protocols for the U.S. president's safety is a multi-layered process overseen by the Secret Service. These protocols encompass various facets, from securing transportation modes like Air Force One and the Beast, to meticulously planning routes and executing stringent background checks on all individuals involved in the president's travels. The Secret Service's vigilance extends beyond traditional security measures. They employ cutting-edge technology and continuously adapt their strategies to counter-evolving threats. From advanced surveillance systems to countermeasures against cyber threats, the aim is to create an impenetrable shield around the president, ensuring their safety at all costs. Furthermore, the dedication and expertise of the security personnel assigned to protect the president's transportation are unparalleled. These highly trained individuals undergo rigorous training programs and possess a unique skill set to handle any potential threats, demonstrating unwavering commitment and readiness to safeguard the Commander-in-Chief. Additionally, the protocols followed by the Secret Service during domestic and international trips are tailored to the specific nuances and challenges presented by each location. Whether it's securing a stadium for a public speech or coordinating with foreign security agencies during an overseas visit, adaptability and precision remain central to their operations. The collaboration between the Secret Service and local law enforcement agencies is seamless, ensuring a cohesive approach to security. The presidential entourage is an assembled team of individuals whose responsibilities transcend mere logistics. They are the guardians of the Commander-in-Chief's safety, advisors on critical matters, and the gears that keep the machinery of the presidency running smoothly during travel. Comprising Secret Service agents, communications experts, foreign policy advisors, medical personnel, and logistical coordinators, this entourage operates as a well-oiled machine, ensuring the president's security, comfort, and ability to make informed decisions wherever they may be. Each member plays a crucial role, from the watchful eyes of the Secret Service protecting the President to the strategic counsel provided by advisors, collectively forming a shield of support that envelops the President during every excursion, both domestic and international. The intricacies of the entourage extend beyond security and advisory roles, encompassing a microcosm of the White House itself. The entourage features a blend of expertise ranging from foreign affairs to technical specialists, managing communication networks and emergency response teams. Seamlessly synchronizing their efforts, they create an ecosystem where swift decision-making and adaptability are paramount. The arrival of the U.S. President in any locality serves as a momentous event, stirring both excitement and logistical challenges for the host community. The economic impact of a presidential visit is often profound, as it can boost local businesses, tourism, and infrastructure development. From increased foot traffic in nearby shops and restaurants, to the influx of media attention showcasing the area's landmarks and attractions, the visit leaves an indelible mark on the local economy. However, this surge in activity also brings about logistical hurdles, with heightened security measures leading to road closures and disruptions, impacting residents' daily routines and businesses' operations. Moreover, hosting a presidential visit requires planning and coordination between various local, state, and federal agencies. Communities must prepare for the arrival of the president, balancing the need for heightened security with minimizing inconvenience to residents. While the prestige of hosting the nation's leader can bolster civic pride, the logistical challenges and disruptions in routine can generate mixed feelings among locals. Yet, despite the temporary inconveniences, the lasting impression left by a presidential visit often becomes a point of pride and a memorable moment in the collective history of the visited locality. Thanks for exploring the intricacies of how the U.S. President travels with us on Discovering Hub. Each journey is a meticulous orchestration of security protocols, logistical planning, and diplomatic coordination. Despite being one of the world's most powerful figures, the President's movement involves an intricate web of precautions, reflecting a unique blend of power, 
responsibility, and safeguarding. Share your thoughts in the comments, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the exploration, and spread the word on social media. Subscribe for more insights into the complexities shaping our world on Discovering Hub. Thank you.